Shaw, the Shaw Festival. Mm -hmm. well, let's do it. Was Christopher Newton running it at the time? Or? Uh, no, um, he had taken a year off and Tony Van Bridge was running it that year. Okay. So I never met Christopher. I, I don't think I met Christopher until, I don't know. Years later. 10 years ago, something like that, mm -hmm. 15 years ago. Because, um, of course, uh, you know, uh, it's no secret that I've had a, an issue with the Shaw Festival. And, well, I think, well, I think if you're an actor of color working in, in Canada uh, back then, uh, it, the thing that really uh, burned my bottom is that if you knew anything about George Bernard Shaw, you would know that he was a feminist and he was anti-war and he was somebody who uh, uh, was a humanist. And if you if you are going to do his works, then you would allow people of color into his art. Uh, is that a fair statement, or what do you think about? He's a white guy, man. What the fuck are you talking about? He's I... a white guy. He's a white guy doing white guy art. So we, you know what? Mm. I. I've been, it's been on my mind a lot lately. I've been talking about it a lot lately. Mm. I believe I mm. and a bunch of us, you included, mm -hmm. made a classic fucking mistake. Mm. And we have yet to fully pay the price, but we will. And the mistake that we had is we spent years and years of our lives mm trying to break down the doors to white theaters, to be included in white theaters, mm. that they should somehow solve our problem. Mm. And what we have done is handed them a knife to cut our throats. Interesting. I knew we were going to get into it. Ex please explain. All right. Right now. Mm -hmm. People at the councils are saying, why do we need culturally diverse theaters? Because they use old language. Why do they need these kinds of theaters like Obsidian or Fujian when the, we have the large theaters are now doing that work? They're not, anyway. They're being forced to do that work because the Canada Council said, you don't represent your community, we're going to cut your funding. So everybody is pastiching as best as they can and putting up as much cover as best as they can. Right? Occasion. So, what does that mean for a company like Obsidian? First off, to get the rights to plays now mm. is getting, we, we get rights of plays based on the sufferance mm. of Canadian stage and soul pepper. Because if they want the plays, the, the, the rights holders, uh, DPS and Samuel French, will, doesn't matter if I'm the first application in, they will get my application. And they'll wait. And they'll do more than that. They'll say, we'll give you an answer in three, four days. And they hang up the phone from you and they phone Soul Pepper and they phone Can Stage and they say, do you want this play? Mm -hmm. So... That's cutting off our ability to get to the best plays, mm -hmm. Num number one. Number two, we go into these venues as rentals mm -hmm. and we get overbranded and, and, and as wiped out as possible. We've done shows where we're full renters paying fifteen, twenty thousand $20,000 for rent mm -hmm. and you can barely find our name on the, on the venue's website. But they, they'll have their stuff plastered all over it. So they are actually working actively to, to wipe us out. Mm -hmm. And the only thing they need is our logo and everybody know we black. Mm -hmm. We've handed them that to Andrew. What we should have done, instead of worrying about how many freaking black people are on the Shaw stage or Cannes stage or, mm -hmm. or Stratford, what we should have done would be growing companies, and there should be more companies, black companies than Obsidian, but we should have been growing those companies to five, six, seven million dollars. Mm -hmm. We should have building power instead of asking for inclusion. Mm -hmm. I agree to a point. So I, uh, I totally agree with everything you just said. However, I would add that I, I think people misunderstood my problem with Shaw in that I wanted more black actors. My problem with Shaw actually had to do with 
uh, uh, the fact that they will not do the work of black playwrights and also that they need black representation on the board and perhaps hire a director here or there. It's like, yeah. it wasn't just getting actors on the stage. And, 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 that's, and yeah. that, was, that was very true then. But then, to be to be blunt about it, I've directed more black plays at Shaw right. than Stratford has done ever. Yeah. So, I think I think and Shaw. You're, you're kind of their go-to guy right now. Well, yeah, but mm. just like just like uh, Nigel's their go-to guy mm. at 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 Stratford, yeah. but they don't do black plays because mm. they don't believe black plays sell. Mm. So they will do, you know. Another yet fucking turgid kind of crap, and they pump it out there, mm -hmm. and and ain't nobody want to see it. 